ですよねいや So I think this is a great start of an isekai, right? Of course, we have to have the premise and how does he get isekai, whatever, right? But I really like how an isekai here immediately shows that he's a fat, he's weak, or so what, but he's saving the young girl anyway, right? Like, I love it to establish that the isekai hero was a heroic person, right? Before he gets powers, right? Then when he gets power, he can do more stuff. But here, establishing that he's a fat so now, right? Weak and fat, yet heroic, right? Horror King is here, guys. <laughs> he awakens the Horror Kings. He looks like the Horror King. Oh, he looks, yes, he looks like he usually does too. He truly is the Horror King. So the Horror King gets a wife immediately. She's like, let's get married now. You know, that's the Horror King. I'm a rich lady, same here. One thing I like here, though, is that he clearly has two horns. So yeah, he's the Horror King. So he has one horn, right, on Earth, and one horn in East Sky, too. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna have like five double horns. Yeah. The Horror King with a double horn. Yeah, it's amazing, man. That's, that's awesome. Ooh. The Horror King is here, guys, with an explosive anime. It is not Mega Man yet, but this is probably, I feel, the best Isekai this season, right? Obviously, I'm not counting our beloved Mega Man in two days from now, because it's a spin off. But I'm thinking about a new Isekai. Right? So, here now we're gonna watch Sheet Isekai. Super long name, but basically, right, in this anime, the premise is that he can go back and forth, right? So, it's Isekai, it's overpowered. We can also go back to Earth, right? Something like that. Uh, but seriously, I think this is probably the best new isekai. Or maybe it's complete trash. I mean, it's like sheet isekai, blah, 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 skin. It sounds very generic, right? There's an older isekai sheet magician that was terrible, or terrible, but, but it was mid, it was mid, right? But again, I I, I hope so. it's, it's, it's a harm thing. Let's just watch it. So three, two, one, and go. But yeah, I have high hopes now, you know. Harm King, right? Freaking. You don't have every heart. Bell could, yeah. Bell is already back, man. It's last season. Oh, his voice, man. His Vash. Last season, too, right? Oof. Oh, his Vash. The Stampede, baby, isn't it? He's obviously one of the best. Actually. I already have a guild record for having the most lines or something. Yeah, he has like the most recorded voice line for one book or something. I don't know, for one project, which is Baby's is Damashi. Yeah. Like 10,000 words for some uh, game or something. Or for. Oh, some girl getting attacked. Yeah, she's getting odd, she's getting YouTubed. She's getting YouTube, guys. Oh yeah, it's a like classic tags. The link with. He probably can't save because he's like a fat loot something. This is before he gets some power, right? He's like fat, yeah, he's fat, right? This is the Horum King. Before he gets the Horum. Well maybe he tried to save her and he dies. Yeah, maybe he maybe he gets killed by these guys. And then he has to return something. Yeah, maybe he gets like murdered by. Here he comes, the Horn King, baby. He's clearly fat. Yeah, <laughs> he's very little fat. So he is a very fat. So yeah, see, he's like Vash man. Thought that Vash guy. But it's good. I mean, I love it. You show me that he's a heroic, right? I like it that we see that he's heroic, even though he's fat and, and obviously like weak and so on. Physically not very strong. He is, you know, he got the spirit to save a young girl, right? And maybe he dies from this though. As I said earlier, this might be how he dies, right? Yeah, they beat him up. He's gonna get Isekai after all. So this is might maybe how he dies, right? Here we get the opening. But yeah, he was trying to save the young lady and he failed. Or maybe he didn't save her though, but he died instead. And then he's reborn as a badass guy, right? But you know, I like it. It reminds me of example uh, of Slime, right? He spoilers here. In Slime, Rimaru, he, Rimaru, -sama! Rimaru dies right in episode one. You know, and he gets really, obviously turned into Slime. He he dies saving his uh, Kohai's girlfriend, right? He's gonna meet like his Kohai, and then some random dude like I don't know attacks them and like stabs her, stabs him, he tries to stab her, right? And so on. But anyway, my point. I like that we have here in the anime that you know the main character is saving a girl, right? Even though he was like a fat so and so on. But here, I guess he's in like a new world, right? Yeah, like we see them in. Oh, this is the hot girl I have here, and so on. A pretty cool looking opening. The song I was like, ah, it's okay, but it's very nice. I say it. It's, it's colorful. Yeah, it's like nice. Who uh, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's probably girl you saved, right? I mean, I'm sure he's gonna probably date the girl he saved, right? I feel he's gonna go back to the world and 
She might be his true love interest. Sabes who's Sophia? He's a horrible king after all. The horrible king, guys. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna smash them all. <laughs> He's the goddamn main character in like 50 horror animes. Jesus Christ, man. He's been called the Horror King for years now, and he keeps getting cast as the Horror King. There's a reason we call him the Horror King. They keep like, yeah, he's a Horror King. But I guess he dies from this, right? He actually gets beaten up by these thugs that he tried to save it from. And then he probably dies, right? And that's how he gets Isekai'd. But yeah, she's probably his love interest. Oh, he isn't dead yet? Well, maybe he dies soon, though. Nice Shobu, sounds a lot like Vashe playing up here. Um, I also like him out in Tears of Horizon though. Yeah, Yoshi, Yoshi, Masu. Yeah, I like him a lot in uh, in Tears of Horizon. He was his law, right, in Tears of Horizon. Kind of aggressive fighter guy. Fighting for his voices line. Yeah, he must be kind to people, something like a grandpa. Yeah, he basically is a grandpa, right? Yeah, it's all about Yuki, baby, about courage. So he's fat and uh, unattractive, but he's brave at least. Okay, why have they graffitied? Why is the graffiti house for though? Yeah, of course everyone's bullying him. You know, it must be a lot of much tension, I would say. Yeah, like he looks a lot like uh, Rudy before he gets uh, Itsukai, you know? What's this? Like. No, okay, his parent also hates him? Yeah, he's. He, there was also like, he doesn't have a lot of Rudy now in a sense, he's like a fat guy and everyone bullies him and he's like... Okay, now he's really bullied here. But of course, I mean, it's a classic kind of Isekai storyline, right? He's like this bullied loser that everyone hates and then he gets powered up, right? So it's kind of the typical Isekai story. Okay, but I guess Grandpa is the only one. Yeah, exactly. Grandpa, I call it, man. Yeah, Grandpa was the only one that liked him. Only Jesus' son. He was the only one he could uh, talk to the one. But I guess, um, yeah, and Grandpa was all like, you know, you gotta be strong, boy. It is kind of questionable though how Grandpa being such a sweet guy. How did he raise some terrible child, though? I mean, you know, because his son or daughter, right, is his <laughs> parents. His parents are awful people. How did this sweet guy raise a terrible daughter or something? Yeah, like that happened. Um, assuming it's like his daughter. Like, how did his daughter be so terrible? How is... <laughs> I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying. Am I the only one? How did he... Yeah, see, his parents are terrible. How can his parents must be terrible? This grandpa was this awesome, sweet guy, man. Yeah, his parents are like a monster. How did his grandpa raise a terrible daughter? No, it is alone and so on. Yeah, they're terrible parents. Like seriously, how did his, how did his, how did his father raise such a terrible daughter? Right? Like his father was like grandpa. I mean, yeah, grandpa was amazing. He was nice. He was sweet. He was wise. And yet he raised like a terrible girl, right? Yeah, and he and he, his. Daughter that hated her own son and so on. Yeah, well, how did he raise that thing? Or son that perhaps because, it, because you know, we don't, you don't know if it's his son or daughter, but yeah. You know, in Swedish, you know, if it's a pair, yeah, I said it before, right? But in Swedish, we have a specific title for Murfar and Farfar so on. So you know if it is the father's mother or the mother's father in Swedish, yeah. Um, and so on. But here comes some typical delinquents. Yeah, some Yankees here. Yeah, and he gets beaten up. I wonder how he's fat though, if he's biking all the time, honestly. Yeah, he's like working as a bike delivery. The anime's been brute, there's a lot of tomato use in it. Yeah, there's a lot of tomato use. Man, these two look really evil, that these two like, I don't know, attractive twins or something? <laughs> they look very familiar, they look like they were twins, man. They look very similar. I mean, a boy and a girl, but yeah, fractal twins, man. They had almost the exact same look, man. They both had the evil smile and they had the same hair. Am I the only one? Or the twins? They're clearly gonna be cat later, it's alright. Oh, he gets fired? Oh, Jesus Christ, man, this anime is freaking. <sighs> he gets fired because he was late, be beaten up. Honestly, how is he still fat? He's like poor and bikes all the time? Um, man, this guy got terrible jeans, man. 
Yeah, and he, oh god, this is sad, man. I was like crying into the ramen. That was a good scene, that was sad, man. Like crying into the ramen. Yeah, and then we get, this is like a really sad start here. <laughs> Oh. Maybe he commits, uh, no, yeah, maybe he's gonna kill himself, yeah. Well, at least the anime is establishing that he has a terrible, terrible life until he gets isekai'd. Oh, what? It's like a hidden door? Is it like, like Narnia? It's like a hidden door in his grandpa's house or something? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, grandpa has like a secret room or something? This is very Narnia, right, you know? T old school is kind of Narnia, yeah, he's gonna go in and... Ah, exactly. Grandpa also probably traveled to the planet then. Yeah, Grandpa also probably is the guy that he has all these items. Well, that explains if it's like a door like Narnia, right? Like straight up Narnia, you have like a, you know, a door you can go in and out, like a, you know, in, in the guy in the... Yeah, exactly. So it is Narnia. It is Narnia, baby! If you haven't read Narnia, it's a very classic, <laughs> yeah, very classic isekai. Uh, but Narnia is an isekai, you know. Narnia is one of the most art isekai. Right? These four kids, right? You know, they find this, uh, you know, door in the in the house, right? In like the closet, and then they go into this, like you know, the winterland, right? And they go adventure and so on. And that's also where they can go back and forth in Narnia. Right? They can also go in and out because it's a gate, right? They don't have to die and so on. Yeah, so this is straight up Narnia, but he's going to Narnia, baby. Yeah, he, he, it's his Narnia. He goes in and out. But I mean, yeah, if, if you're gonna have the storyline, he can bring back items and be rich or whatever in our world, right? It has to be something like Narnia has to be. But I mean, in, in that kind of feel, right? Where you have a gate, right? Where you have like a door you can go in and out of, or press a magic thing. But usually a door, yeah, it makes the most sense, right? But for some reason, Grandpa had the Narnia door. Never told him. <laughs> Maybe Grandpa was a terrible grandfather. He didn't raise a very good daughter after all. Yeah, and maybe Grandpa was a terrible absent father that he was out adventuring in this world and he was like smashing all these, uh, you know, elves or whatever. Never thought of his daughter. And then his daughter turned into a terrible mom to her son. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I, maybe I should have been a better father out of adventuring. That explains it. That's how it's happening. I see it now. I see it now. Honestly, though, maybe he's not human. I'm so out there. Maybe the main character isn't completely human though, because if his grandpa is also a, a previous adventurer, right? Maybe his mom is like half elf or something, right? And she's never told him. Who knows, right? Yeah, maybe he's half orc. He's a fat. He's like, <laughs> it's like he's the kind of he's, a, he's just so ugly. He's half orc. <laughs> but seriously, maybe the main character is like half orc or something because his his grandpa might have necessarily been married to a human, right? Because he's also been adventuring in elf and uh, phone. Uh, so. He also might be adventuring right in Elephant so on. Oh, here we go. No, it's probably a letter from Grandpa, right? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> it's like a letter from Grandpa. It's like, I can't read this. <laughs> it's like, is it Elf or something? What? Okay, maybe it's will read it now then. Okay, maybe it's for Grandpa now. He's like, read it now, boy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you get the house? No, it's probably his grandpa's ploy, right? Grandpa probably knew this would happen, right? This is probably grandpa's house in this world, right? Don't think it makes any sense that grandpa wait, left this for him, right? Yeah, this sage, yeah, grandpa has to be a sage. I don't want to think it makes any sense that his grandpa was also a powerful guy, right? Or at least reasonably powerful. I mean, yeah, Grandpa certainly left this to him, right? That's the only thing that makes logical sense. Absolutely. And... <laughs> it's like, no, it's serious. Like, here we go. He's gonna get narnia -ed. Yeah, but Grandpa had to... Maybe she told him this, though. <laughs> I don't know! If it's like Grandpa planned... If it's like Grandpa wanted him to find this, right? So maybe you should have told him about this before he died. It was like, I left you a medical sword, boy. It's like, I'm mean, going to tell you, though. Okay, it's going to fight some slime something that run around here. Okay, he's too weak to wield the sword. Yeah, like a pass over. It's not explosive enough. No. Yeah, I, guess, I guess it's like learn by doing in this anime world, right? It's like a video game, so the more damage you take, the stronger it is or something. Oh, 
Och jag är ganska spearstöd. Och jag blir hastig att ha different weapons, right? So. <laughs> okay, that one is badass. This is Scooch. Yeah. That's like Grandpa's Grim Reaper weapon or something. <laughs> his grandpa had a lot of weapons, man. Grandpa is dangerous, man. His grandpa was like, I got like a million weapons here, boy. Yeah, I was like, okay. Grandpa had very big collection, yeah. All of them is dangerous. He's like level one and everything. He's like one, 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 one. You know, maybe he's fat because he's half human or something, right? Maybe he isn't really human, right? Maybe he's, the reason he is fat is because he can't train on Earth to be to be in shape because he has he's like half orc or whatever. He needs to train more on this. He's like level one, you know, on Earth. Even though much, even if he trains on Earth, he can't level up. Okay, here we go. Now something is said by uh, oh yeah, the house is protected because Grandpa probably like a saint. <laughs> Yeah, so the house is like a sanctuary. You know, like, not, not, not like Diablo sanctuary. <laughs> like an actual sanctuary. Not sanctuary like in Diablo, because that, that is not a very good place. Huh. Maybe you can throw the tree through it. Yeah, if the magic only blocks uh, living things. Well, a tree is living, I suppose. Oh, yeah, no, but... Okay, that doesn't work. No, it saves him. Oh, you can farm him, you can, <laughs> you can poke him from the inside. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He can poke him from this side. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, you can poke him here. He's like, <laughs> this is awesome. I can stand on this side and be like, poke, poke, poke. Yeah. The ultimate strategy, man. See, this might be a super easy farm way. I mean, a lot of video games is exactly like this. Right? You can stand and like poke them from the safe zone. <laughs> yeah, cheap, cheap attack from the safe zone. But that, that's he's trying to spawn kill him. You know, yeah, he's trying to spawn kill him. So you know, he gets what he deserves, man. I like it. He probably is gonna get slim now then if he gets level up with this. But yeah, he never killed anything, of course. He's never his. But yeah, but now he gets XP, right? Yeah, leveled up, or level hundred. Well, yeah, I guess that, uh, well, level 100 isn't probably max level, though, I guess. Oh, it's like a blood auger stone or something, I guess. Has a weapon or sword. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So he's like, I want them all in the uh, fat burning. <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> he's like, how do I slim down, you know? How do I slim down? <laughs> yeah, it's like, how do I get rid of it? Maybe you can't go back yet? Oh, you need to like, it's like a video game. You need to withdraw, yeah, you need to like, pay or something. What? You also get paid? <laughs> this door is amazing. This Narnia door is amazing, man. Like, oh, you also want to be hurt? Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> it also gives you money? <laughs> yeah. This is the best Narnia door ever. It's like, oh, you're going back to Earth again? Do you, you, want, do you want me to, like, take the gold and make it into money for you? It's like, yeah, sure. But okay, so now he becomes slim, right? Because, yeah, because I guess he leveled up, so. Yeah, so he's probably gonna wake up and be all ripped, just like me, you know? Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Exactly. Now he got a good old, good old Horeb King body. Exactly, now he's like Harem King, buddy. Harem King awakens everyone. He even looks at the Harem King. <laughs> the Harem King awakens. Yeah. Oh, is he... I don't know, he also looked at his uh, penis. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I live in love and it counts. <laughs> Harem King awakens, baby. There we go. Yeah, he's like really ripped now. And not be clear to speak anymore. He's very casual about this. Yeah, he's like, oh, whatever. Oh, ripped. Nice. Nothing fits anymore. That makes sense. Uh, you can use the video game. Yeah, now it looks like, like it obviously looks like the Horror King. <laughs> now it looks like it doesn't have this anime is part of. <laughs> now it looks exactly, oh, is he gonna have like a little farm too, like a farmstead? You know, we level up your crops like in every video game. 
Like for example, like in Tales of Rise one. Yeah, it's gonna. Law is the guy that likes the form stuff in Tales of Rise though. So this is all in character, man. Yeah, Law is the one in Tales of Rise that likes to take care of the animals and the food and that stuff. Yeah, and then you get the farmland in, in the game. He's the one that's like, oh, we need the cows, guys. Yeah, and the older cats are like, no, you're an idiot. Who cares? So it's like, no, it's awesome. We can go meet. We can we have chickens. <laughs> so, um, okay, like a slime or something. Where he sums out the. But I love it. He seriously is like, uh, you know, core. Yeah, he's like grinding from the yeah from the spawning. So <laughs> he's trying to throw spears at them. Yeah. Oh, it's coffee. Coffee, really? Is it ice or hot though? Yeah. Oh, I guess like a little necklace. Nice. So this is the harem king, man. Uh. But I love how the door, the door is so convenient, yeah, you leave and he gives you money, man, this is the most convenient isekai ever. When you go back, you're like, here's some money, boy, he's like, thank you, thank you. You're like, awesome, yeah, you get some money every time you leave. <laughs> you leave. But I like now that he's spending his time making like a farm, he's, he's playing Star Wars Realist now, he's like, what, leave the farm and go and fight? No, no, no. I'm gonna make my own little food here instead. Yeah, <laughs> he's just like making his own little, his own little. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just farming. And I guess he throws a spear every now and then when a monster appears. Okay, and he reads books from I guess our world. But I love that he spends most time just farming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so he eating coffee now? Coffee jelly? Well, maybe it's just like coffee. Yeah, maybe it's just like coffee. But that I know, but maybe it's just like coffee. He hasn't left his farm yet, but I guess he keeps leveling up, right? Because he can keep attacking animals and monsters that come in there. Uh, something like that, yeah. <laughs> it's a goblin, clearly. Yeah. A hobgoblin? Or elite goblin? Okay, whatever. But yeah, it's a goblin. But yeah, this guy is the cheapest isekai guy ever. He stays in the, he stays in the, in the safe zone and keeps... He stays in the spawn zone, yeah, it's like, oh my god. He keeps, this is why it's called sheet bug, is a man, sheet is a guy, yeah, he's still cheating, man, he's the lame, man. Or is he finally gonna leave the farm? Maybe he's better school or something? In the real world, I mean? No, but everyone's like, oh, what a hottie! <laughs> Could all the girls like, oh my god, I'm so handsome, oh my god. The harm king, yeah, I'm handsome, yeah. But these, these two girls, the twins. Definitely twins, right, yeah. Yeah, the harm king, man, he's the harm king. He's like, yeah, everyone's like, whoa. So he's going back to school now. He's not fat anymore, he's like super hot now. And everyone is confused, of course. Where's the fat so? Yeah, they're like, where's the fat so, man? You some new guy? He's of course he's afraid of them. He's like, you know, he got some like Rudy, he's PTSD, you know. It's me, Tenyo. Yeah, and everyone's like, what? Yeah, but you're not fat anymore. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You doesn't believe them. No, it's me. <laughs> the horror king, man. Everyone's in shock, man. The horror king can't uh, get to slim down so much. Wait, he didn't even talk about it himself? What? But he didn't. No, he grew. He broke his mirror. He broke his mirror at home. That's true. He broke his mirror. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that, that, I didn't think about that. That was kind of silly. But I mean, he was so much ripped, though. He, no, no, no clothes fit anymore. But that's true. He did, he did break his mirror. And I guess that was his only mirror he had. I said, but he went out store and bought a bookstore. That's a little silly. Because we saw him going and shopping uh, at, like, at like a bookstore. So he would definitely see windows, you know, cars, reflections. Yeah, a little silly. He would obviously walk by his own reflection every now and then. But I guess you could argue he's so fat that he never looked at his reflection. But, um, I mean, I can't, of course, relate to that, you know. <laughs> but still, you know, obviously, a little silly. <laughs> but okay, the ending, I don't know, it's just too, like, not cats, I wouldn't say. But, you know, magical animals looking at this tree. Yeah, I don't know. Here we got some more cat is coming in. Yeah, the first wasn't really. Now it's like clearly a wife with on the sideline. Yeah, the left is a wife with the air. He got another wife. It's probably her from the backstory, the one she saved. The 
Oh yeah, that got a bit cute. And that definitely the woman is saved. Oh, and this woman pretty hot. Yeah. He bunch of wifers, man. He's the Horn King after all. He got like 10 love interests, 5 per planet, yeah. <laughs> he got so many. This time the Horn King got a double Horn. He got one Horn on Earth. Oh, okay, now it's more. Oh my god, it's more. Oh, I thought it was ending. It's more. They are, they are arguing with him at the school, sorry. It's not a suggested ending here, yeah. Yeah. They're angry at him. They're lying. Oh, it's his six siblings. That makes sense. They're twins. <laughs> I did say they were twins, sorry. That makes sense, yeah. That makes sense. They're his siblings. That's not who they are. I said they were twins, right? I was like, yeah. Oh, it's a girl who saved, of course. Yeah, it's a girl who saved. She's like, yeah, hottie. I will make you my boyfriend, Harem King. Yeah, she's clear, like, I will sleep with you. <laughs> she definitely is coming in there, like. Um, yeah, let's go back, let's review it. But yeah, I was, I, I kept saying they were twins, right? Those two. Yeah, they were his siblings, of course. That makes sense. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. Um, didn't get it before. I don't think they ever, no, they didn't, they didn't speak before, right? They were just staring at him, kind of laughing at him when he was getting bullied, right? Yeah. Obviously they hate him, so these are his terrible twins, twins, right? But like I said, aren't they sister and sibling? Yeah, aren't they twins? Right? They're very, very similar, even though they were Frank Terranol, one boy, one girl, right? Uh, but anyway, yeah, she's clearly the main love interest, right? The girl is saved, very classic anime, right? The first girl is saved, is also the girl that wants him the most, right? So she comes in here and is like, eh, you, you can! <laughs> yeah. She comes in at the end and she feels like she's very much... Like, I will, I will become your lover, yeah. She's like, Harem King, I'm here for your pee-pee. Uh, certainly, she comes in here and looks very thirsty, right? She looks very, very thirsty. Um, but I'm guessing that because she had, like, a, a driver, right? She's, of course, a rich girl, too. Yeah, yeah, she's just a kind of rich uh, elite girl, right? Some uh, uh, probably rich parents, you know what I mean? Something like that, right? So that, that's been pretty obvious that she's... Not only attractive, but also a catch, right? Because she's like probably the daughter of some, you know, mega rich corporation guy or something. Some CEO, her, her father is the CEO of Nintendo or something. You know? It's gonna be something like that, yeah. So that's it pretty clear as well, right? Um, but it's interesting, I mean, we keep joking saying that he's the Harem King, right? He got all his love and so on, as always. But clearly, because the anime is going back and forth, right, between two worlds, he's doing the, the Narnia thing, right? He got the door and it opens up and it goes to the other world. It seemingly he's gonna have two harems, right? Yeah, <laughs> he seemingly he's gonna have two harems in this anime. Uh, that's how I guess it is. He's gonna have love interest and friends or whatever, right? In on Earth, right? Uh, obviously, this woman then is the main love interest. Clearly, the main love interest on Earth. But I feel like he's gonna have more than her on Earth, right? Maybe some other classmates, that you know what I mean. And then also he's gonna have some elf chicks or whatever, right? On the other plane too. So. Yeah, double double trouble for the harem guy. <laughs> he's gonna have double harem. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be like surrounded by his harem, man. He's gonna have like yeah, it's gonna have like five waifus per per planet, right? It's like yeah, harem king is doubling it up, man. He's doubling it up. I love it. <laughs> that seems to be what's happening, right? Yeah, and he obviously as I keep saying, fat very like Narnia, you know, that kind of guy, where you have a door. You open the door in and out, and then the door actually gives him like money too. So that's a very nice Narnia door, yeah. You're like, oh, you're leaving? Should I exchange your currency, your gold, to into yen or whatever? Your your diamonds can turn into money, dollars. You, what what money do you want? <laughs> USD? <laughs> yes, okay, figure out. So, but honestly, pretty good. Um, pretty standard though. I would say one thing here, right? I, I loved it when he was like killing the monsters from the safe zone. That was hilarious, yeah. He was killing them from the side. I love that. Uh, but it does feel a little bit... What would I say? It does feel a little bit like... Um, I mean... It's a typical backstory, right? Let's be honest here. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't like it. But I'm just saying that as man is the guys, right? This is kind of the first episode. He's bullied. He's fat. He slims down. He gets a girlfriend, you know. And then it kind of starts, right? So, so I do feel... You're thinking man all the the guys... You kind of need to see at least two episodes, right? You kind of need to see the backstory. Okay, here's his bullied. But he's, he's, he's a great guy, though, yeah. But that's what I think is important, right? I like that he is heroic. 
immediately right why is a fat guy is he trying to save the cute girl right you know it's inside saver from getting youtube right so i like that that's really good right so we get the backstory we get his like uh, personality but then we need to see kind of episode two right the powers or whatever the prem more on that stuff so it's kind of typical for isekais that you usually you have like yeah one episode for the preset of the premise right and episode two is like where stuff gets more you know gritty or meaty or whatever kind of show you the the fights or whatever so so we're gonna see this but absolutely it is probably the best new isekai guy i think so honestly non the double isekai maybe i don't know there's some more isekais that i also am somewhat interested in but this this to me feels like the best new isekai this season um, what do you guys think of below the one? But obviously, otherwise, of course, we have Megumin coming soon, right? Of course, this will definitely not uh, beat, obviously, my best girl, Megumin, right? Freaking uh, <laughs> Konosuba, man. But as I said, that is cheating, though. It's not the same thing, right? It is, uh, of course, a spin off. I already seen the movies, right? You know what I mean? I already played, I already played the games. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, Konosuba, I know everything about consumer. So that's very unfair, right? Megumin, of course, is a massive uh, lead, right? Uh, you know, so it's more like some tree kind of right. Uh, but I'm gonna scraps like in the comment below. What do you guys think is the best music guy? Um, tomorrow we have some more new animes, right? Yeah, I don't remember now, but of course, there are some other new animes coming. Or one of the anime I look for a lot is Dr. Stone, right? I don't know if people have it anymore, but I really love the Stone. I love the Stone, it's one of my all time favorite animes because I'm a nerd, right? I really love the Stone. No one cared about Sin 2, but that's coming back soon. Sin 3, I love the Stone, I love Sink, it's one of my all time favorite characters. So I have, feel I have to talk about it <laughs> on Thursday. Uh, and there's also Asian Magus Bride coming back, right, on Thursday and so on. So if you're interested in more, you know, reviews stuff on new animes coming right, check out the channel. Uh, it's going to be a bunch of new animes. And obviously, this week ends with Demon Slayer. Right? But if you guys have a great day.